Would you like to have countdown timers like this that you can use anywhere and embed into your own presentations? If the answer is yes to either, then keep watching. Have you ever been in a training session which has had a timed activity? If the answer is yes, then you'll need a slide with instructions and a timer to count down to zero. And in my experience, one of these common two situations will happen. Neither situation is desirable as you either have a clear idea of what you need to do, but no idea how much time you have to do it, or a clear idea of how much time you have, but not what you need to be doing. It can also be disruptive as the trainer has to keep swapping in and out of these presentations to see either of those items. But what if there was a way to have both? And now you can, but these countdown timers I've created and uploaded to YouTube. They cover a range of popular durations and have some considered data visualization and sound design elements sprinkled in. With the addition of progress bars, viewers get a more visual sense of how much time they have left and the speed it is reducing at. Also handy for viewers with impaired vision who can't read timers and numbers easily. Progress beeps add a subtle audio cue to audiences who might be engrossed and heads down in their task, but they might not be looking at the timer. The beeps happen at 75, 50, 25, and 0% milestones. And for those of you who don't like them, you can always mute them if you find them distracting. And as these timers are YouTube videos, they can easily be embedded into popular presentation solutions like PowerPoint, Google Slides, and Prezi. This allows you to have a timer on the slide at the same time as having the instructions like in the examples here. To help make finding the right timing duration for you, I've made this Google Looker Studio dashboard. It utilizes a combination of their cool image and hyperlink features to make YouTube thumbnails appear directly in the table and also make them clickable. People often let me know how to use these timers in their day to day. So here are some other examples, such as study aids, work focuses, or even a way to keep a presenter from overrunning in a time slot in a meeting. I hope these timers help you and you've seen how a little bit of data viz has enhanced them immensely. If you have any feedback or like to suggest more timers you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Till the next time, thank you. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out.